Scholars, we are back. Yes, today we are talking about another movement that the earth makes. Remember the last time that we had spoke, we had talked about how the earth rotates on its axis. And this rotation, remember the sun's rays are shining right here. This rotation causes our day-night cycle. So if we were in America, and I am in America, and our sun is shining over here, the rays are coming. When I come right here, I am experiencing daytime. But because the earth is rotating on its axis every 24 hours, when I get back here, I'm no longer experiencing daytime. Now I'm experiencing nighttime. So we know that the day-night cycle is caused by the rotation of the earth on its axis axis but that's not the only way the earth is moving the earth is actually making multiple movements at the same time yes it is it is also doing something else called a revolution yes the earth is also revolving around the sun so there's little bitty planets that are between the earth and the sun we have three planets remember my very earnest mom my very earnest mom so we have mercury venus and then it's the earth and then we have other planets that are out in other orbits around the sun but we have the sun and we have the earth and we have the moon the earth we just said is rotating on its axis just like that but while it's rotating on its axis it's also making another movement it is also revolving around the sun just like this it's crazy but it's true the earth is not only rotating but it is revolving all the way around the sun so not only are we moving like this but we are also revolving re revolving all around another word for revolve a synonym for revolve is to orbit orbit means to go around so this earth is rotating and revolving and rotating and revolving and it's rotating and revolving and it's rotating and revolving and it's rotating and when it gets back to its original location that is called a year yes each rotation is called a day and get this it takes 365 rotations a rotation is one spin it takes 365 spins for the earth to make it all the way around the sun. Yes, that's crazy, but it's true. Yes, the earth is being held by the sun's gravity. The sun is very big, very big. It's big enough to hold all of our planets in orbit around it all of the planets the sun it's like it has a big lasso around each one of them and it's holding it because that's what gravity does gravity of the planet the larger planet with more mass is going to hold smaller planets with less mass and so the sun is holding the earth in this pattern where it's just constantly year after year after year after year after year orbiting around the sun and it's such a cool Thing because the earth is positioned the perfect distance from the sun when I tell you perfect I mean perfect if we were too closer we would burn if we were too much further away we would freeze we have literally been placed on a planet that is perfectly positioned from the sun yes it's amazing just to even think about it right so two movements are happening the first movement is this movement the earth is spinning on its axis there's the cause, and the effect is we have the day-night cycle. So every 24 hours, we have one day because the Earth is spinning on its axis. But something else is happening. We have this movement where the Earth is revolving around the sun, orbiting around the sun, and this movement is causing something too. And we're going to get into that later on later videos. No, let's do it now, Mr. W. Why put off for tomorrow what could be taught today? I love it. Let's do it. All right. So the sun's rays are shining on the earth. The sun rays are shining on the earth. And we know that this movement where the earth goes all the way around is going to create one revolution, one orbit. Those are synonyms. And guess what? That amount of time is one year. One easy way to remember that is if you think about the distance, this is a smaller distance for the earth to make one rotation. Rotation is a smaller word than revolution. 
and revolution is a longer distance. So smaller word, smaller distance. Longer word, longer distance. Yes, it has to go all the way around, but that only works with rotation and revolution. If you throw orbit in there, you're just gonna get confused. So if you teach it, teach it with rotation and revolution, shorter word, short, shorter distance, shorter time. Shorter word, shorter distance, shorter time. Shorter word, rotation. Shorter distance, one spin. Shorter time, one day. Longer word, revolution. Longer distance, all the way around the sun. Longer time, one year. It's just connected. It's very, very easy to just wrap those two things together. And because the earth revolves around the sun, because it makes a revolution, because it goes on in orbit, the earth being tilted, we get this cool thing called seasons. And we'll talk about seasons later. Seasons is awesome, but it definitely is connected to the tilt of the earth's axis, the unequal shining of the sun because of that. And then we get to move around. So it's just really cool. When I tell you that all of this is put together in an amazing way, I have to say, I'm impressed. I am. I'm just really impressed. Hats off, hats off, hats off, because now you know how we have and why we have days. And you also know how we have and why we have seasons. But we're gonna talk about seasons later. Last thing that I wanna point out before I let you guys go, scholars, is I want you to remember the sun is not moving around the earth. But notice from our perspective, it looks like the sun rises and it looks like the sun sets. But in reality, it's not the sun that's moving. It's us, it's us. When I'm right here and the earth is rotating away from the sun, it looks like the sun is going down, like it's going away, but the sun's not going away. The only thing that's happening is you are rotating on this beautiful planet. When you're back here, it's nighttime. And then when you keep coming and you make it over here, you can see the sun's rays again, and it appears like the sun is rising. In reality, the sun doesn't move. I know it's not a true statement. The sun is moving, but the sun's movement does not cause the day-night cycle. What causes the day-night cycle is the fact that the earth is rotating on its axis. And so that makes the sun appear to move. It makes it look like it's moving. You think that it's moving. You can see that it looks that way, but in reality, it's because of our movement.